My name is Sharon Rowland. 1984 was a very busy, fun, and exciting year. I was about to give birth to my third child. We um, were in the process of building a dream house. We were very excited about the kids and always eager to do all the baseball games and the ballet recitals. Looking back at that time, and even at the time, I realized that we had something very special. There was a big change in our lives. In uh, 1999, uh, George, my husband and their dad, uh, died suddenly of heart failure. He was kind of a bigger than life figure. He was an awesome dad. So it was devastating for everyone. When something like that happens, there's always lots of questions and anger with God and blaming and why, why did this happen to us type thing. But we had a wonderful support system. My family lived close by, my mom and dad, very, very strong in their faith. So that helped tremendously. Randy was the youngest. He never seemed to find a way to find peace with his dad's death. He started using uh, marijuana and misusing prescription drugs, and then it became an addiction. And there were times when everything looked like it was going to be okay. By the time he graduated, um, he had been to rehab, he had uh, done some sober living, but then there were very, very dark periods, and those periods continued to get darker and continued to become more and more a part of his life. That was a daily prayer, God, please help Randy and his addiction. Uh, then the police arrived at my door. And I, of course, had that terrible feeling. Before then. When he was 32, he died of an accidental drug overdose. Honestly, there's just a lot of um, numbness and kind of a loss of what all was happening. One of my favorite verses is Philippians that says, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. That, I think, is how I and we manage to get through what's every parent's nightmare. That's why we wanted to do something to celebrate Randy's life and in his memory. After Randy died in 2016, we went to an event called International Overdose Awareness Day. One of the goals is to help reduce the stigma of addiction so that people will get help and to support those families who are struggling with addiction and loss. So we decided at that point that we wanted to see if we could start our own event. We had North Texas Overdose Awareness Day for the first time in 2018. And the estimate was that there were about 250 to 300 people at the first event. At the end, we had a balloon release and had so many people come to us and say that they were so glad that we were doing that, that we were talking about drug misuse and addiction. At the time of Randy's death, you know, we had no idea that there would be an opportunity to do something in his memory that would be able to help not only us, but help others who might experience something similar to us or help prevent a tragedy like the one we experienced. I am able to find a lot of joy in life. I have five grandchildren now, and one is a namesake of Randy. That's a part of my daily prayer too, is to uh, be joyful, and I've changed that since COVID to be extremely joyful about life. The idea of hope and faith every day is um, something that, that keeps me going and um, makes life good.